All right, today we're going to talk about the Christensen MPR. Okay, this one is chambered in a six millimeter Creedmoor. They make several of the popular cartridges, both in short and long action. The short actions will take AICS magazines, the longs will take CIP magazines, and let's just go ahead and start uh, with the basics here. Basically, the barreled action is going to be just like any other Christensen arms uh, out there. They do make it in steel, they do make it in carbon fiber, and like I said, short and long action. So, we've had several, I, I've lost count of how many Christensen arms rifles that we've had. Every single one of them has shot extremely well, and this one is no different. We'll show you some of the groups. It's shooting a couple different factory ammos very well. It's shooting the 108 ELDMs right around a half minute, and then the Peterson ammo, it's shooting in the three tenths to four tenths range. Uh, so as far as the, like I said, the basics, this isn't gonna be any different. They're coming with trigger tech triggers like they have for a while now. Uh, bolt cycle is smooth. And I think that since I've owned my first one, they've just gotten better with their bolt timing and the primary extraction has seemed to have gotten better, uh, but they've all shot for me. So I, I do think they've increased the, uh, the quality of some of the, the finer pieces of the rifle. Now, what does set this NPR apart from other Christensen rifles and other rifles in general is gonna be the chassis. So we'll just start uh, back here. It is fully adjustable in length of pull as well as the cheek riser. So for those that want to get a higher cheek riser, a uh, higher cheek weld, want to mount the scope farther away from the action, or if you just need a longer length of pull, you can do that here. Uh, like I said, it takes the AICS or CIP magazine, depending on whether it's short or long action. It comes with an MOE grip. It can be changed out to any AR-15 or most AR-15 style grips if you don't like that. It does come with a Picatinny rail and it's got a carbon fiber free floated fore end here. Uh, I, I have mixed feelings about it. I really think I prefer it to not cover the barrel. It, it causes you to have to get the scope farther away from the action. This one doesn't uh, seem to be a problem. I've got my NX-8 mounted onto it and it was on a regular rifle, so it, it didn't require any change. But it, it does allow it to, uh, you, can, you can grip the gun and not have to worry about touching a warm barrel or whatever. Uh, it does have m -lock in it, it, so you can throw your Picatinny rail bipod on. I've run an Atlas on there. And then they do come with their Slayer brake, which is one of the best brakes that I have used. So the, it, it's, you're talking about a rifle that typically weighs, like it, in this setup would typically weigh 6.75 pounds or so. And this, and that, that their typical stock weighs roughly two pounds. This chassis is gonna be right around three and a half pounds. So you're gonna add a little bit of weight. It's not gonna be super light, but it does uh, afford some flexibility. A lot of guys just like chassis rifles. They're probably more well suited for shooting in uh, competition tile type shooting events and that kind of thing. But I think the biggest thing that sets this apart from some of the other chassis out there is not only the collapsible stock, this little magnetic piece here. So once you get it closed, it'll stay in place. This makes a sweet little package to take on a backpack trip and it's it's not super light but it does pack down to a super small setup here you could throw this on the back of a backpack no problem and it would be great carry rifle <clears throat> i know a lot of guys are cutting their barrels down real short because they want to keep it on their backpack and not interfere while they're uh, traipsing through the woods and this will allow you to do so like I said, the accuracy on this rifle was just as good as any 
uh, Christensen we've shot or any rifle we've shot really I mean I've seen these things rival a lot of the customs I've built uh, if you like chassis you're gonna really like this rifle and for those that are on the fence it is very shootable you kind of got to play if you're new to chassis play with your uh, your grip here and get, get comfortable with it it does have enough material back here to ride a bag decent I mean it's not gonna be like your typical stock but it does have a spot to ride a bag. It, it does have flush cups back here, several different ones. And then the Catania rail has a sling mount on it. I personally would have rather seen a flush cup mount somewhere up here. And you could probably add an attachment to do that. I do know there are Picatinny rails out there that are available that would have a flush cup in there. So all in all, this is a sweet little rifle. Uh, I, I think in any of the cartridges they chamber in, you would really like this. Uh, in this Six Creed, it's super uh, comfortable to shoot. It's crazy accurate for something out of the box with factory ammo. It's got all the features I think a guy with a chassis rifle for hunting purposes would want. Uh, like I said, fully adjustable back here, uh, flush cut mounts, interchangeable grips. It comes with a good grip. AICS or CIP magazine length boxes and there's a number of different magazines. It does come with the magazine. This one was a P-Mag. Uh, Picatinny rail, Trigger Tech flat shoe trigger, and the grip is very nice. Uh, suitable for adding any of the accessories that you want. Picatinny rail up here, Slayer brake, like I said, one of the one of the best out there, and this thing is almost zero recoil. Uh, when you're shooting it, it's it's just a dream to shoot. And then, like I said, the, probably the best part about it, it's the folding and the fact that it, it's not going to come undone from the folded position. It's not going to unfold unless you really want it to, and then it locks in place. So if you're looking for a chassis rifle or you want to give a chassis rifle at the price point of these rifles, 20, I think it's 2300 or $2,400, depending on short along with the carbon, and then it saves a few hundred dollars to go with steel. You really need to check out the Christensen Arms MPR. We appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Please like and subscribe. We'll have a link in the description to a thread on longrangeonly.com's forum where you could go ask me any questions. If you're not a member, it's quick, it's free, it's easy to sign up. We would love to have you. A lot of great guys in there. There's a lot of great information and our member base is growing quite rapidly. So go check it out, ask me any questions and we'll get those answered. Have a great day.